Limerick are relentless. They win another National Hurling League title, another major honour for one of the greatest hurling teams of all time. And they completely blow Kilkenny away, completely blow them away. It looked like this was going to be a contest early on in the first half, but Limerick pull away once again, the greatest hurling team of all time. And can they be stopped at this point? And the question is, in my opinion, I, I, I think this Limerick side are very, very close now to becoming the greatest hurling team of all time. I think the Kilkenny side of the mid-2000s is the only one coming close to them, but this Limerick side are so good. They just have so many options. And even without some of their best players, even without the likes of Cole Hayes, Keen Lynch coming off the bench, Grode Hegarty not that involved. It's extraordinary, absolutely extraordinary from a Limerick perspective. And they are going to take some beating this year. Mark my words. Welcome back to GA Fan TV. This is the instant match reaction after Limerick win the National Hurling League title. They've beaten Kilkenny 220 to 15 points in Parky Cueve. Comfortable win in the end for the All Ireland champions. And it's another piece of major silverware for Limerick. And as we very well know, they haven't won the league in the last couple of seasons. They've sort of always took the league off in the last two years with the main focus been looking towards the, the All-Ireland Hurling Championship and the Munster Round Robin. This time around, Limerick have rotated brilliantly, but the younger players that they've brought in have made a huge, huge impact. And, you know, you're looking across the board. Cahill O'Neill today, outstanding, obviously, with a, with a point. Uh, Connor Coughlin in round midfield uh, had a very, very good game. Barry Nash in a, a cornerback coming back into the side, scoring 1-1. One, one. Um just absolutely brilliant from a, from a Limerick perspective. And like the thing is, this Limerick side, you know, is just not slowing down, you know, by any stretch of the imagination. You think of it with the fact they've won the last three All Orleans, you would wonder, could there be an element of them, you know, slowing down over the, the next um couple of couple of seasons? Could some other counties maybe go and bridge the gap? But no evidence of that. No evidence of that. And um, it was just an outstanding performance from Limerick once again. Like, they were a little bit slow to get going. Like, they didn't score their opening point until the 12th minute. A couple of early scores from Adrian Mullen and Richie Reid, very much putting uh, Limerick on the back foot. And you were looking at it thinking, maybe, just maybe, Kilkenny, you know, with the fact that, obviously, it's Derek Ling's first season. I think they probably need this piece of silverware more so than Limerick. Um and it looked like maybe Limerick hadn't quite clicked into gear. You know, they didn't score their, their first point from play until the 15th minute. It was three Aaron Galan frees that essentially drew Limerick level at three points apiece. But once they clicked into gear and once that goal came from Barry Nash, a wonderful finish um, from the cornerback, wonderful uh, goal uh, from Barry Nash, Limerick just clicked into gear from then. Aaron Galan started finding uh, the knack, uh, Jeremy Burns, excellent once again on on freeze. Like obviously having him back in the side is such a big plus. Uh, as I say, Colin Coughlin was was very very impressive. And for for Kilkenny, especially towards the end of that first half, what seemed to be a very even game, what seemed to be two sides who were playing at a similar level, Limerick were just able to turn it on, flip the switch, and before you knew it, there were six points up at half time, and you were thinking. This is going to be tough now for Kilkenny. This is going to be tough for them. And they needed a big start, you know, uh, going into the second half. Adrian Mullen gets a point. But then it's another, I think, 11 minutes without a score until Paddy Deegan gets on the score sheet. And Limerick just managed the game brilliantly. Uh, managed the game very, very well. And that second goal as well uh, from Aaron Galan. I mean, the catch from Keane Lynch out of this world, you know, top, top class hurling from, from Keane Lynch. One of the best hurlers to ever play the sport. And, to think Limerick still won the All-Ireland and still beat Kilkenny last year in the final, even without him on the pitch, 
extraordinary. You know, the pass obviously inside as well into Aaron Galan slots it away brilliantly. Um, and you know, Limerick were just playing total samba style hurling, in my opinion, from there on in. The flicks, the passing, the quickness, the sharpness, you know, they're they're gunning going into the Munster round robin. Um last year and, and even the year before, there was always that thinking that maybe they might start the round robin a little bit slow with the fact they're still trying to get their players up to speed and everything else. No case of that this year. They they look as if they're gonna go into the Munster round robin gunning for blood and you know for the opening couple of weeks the opening couple of games you fear for for the sides that they're going to come up against you could argue the only thing that could, could come against Limerick going into that Munster round robin is a bit of a burnout is a bit of you know players obviously haven't gone so intense in the league could, could possibly that could possibly catch up with them but you know look just looking at it there like Paul Hayes didn't play today for example um a Grode Hegarty played but wasn't too involved, I felt, in the game. You know, Shamie Flanagan came back in, Aaron Glan was there. You know, they still have so many players, like Tom Morrissey, still to, to come back into this Limerick side as well. Uh, Adam English was an unused substitute. Dunnick O'Darling only came on for the final seven minutes. Shane O'Brien only came on for the final uh, couple of minutes as well. So, like, Limerick have a wealth of options from 1 to 15, and they can rotate through, through the Munster round robin, and they'll still be okay. They'll still be okay to go all the way and reach a Munster final. And you're looking around the country. You're looking at some of the other counties, Kilkenny, Tipperary, um, Galway. Like, I just think Limerick are streets ahead of, of all of them. And I think it will be a handy all Ireland for them this year. I really, really do. I think I think they will, you know, there, there will be tests and there will be moments, all right, because, you know, there's a lot of great teams and a lot of great hurlers in this uh, in this country. And it won't be smooth sailing for Limerick, but I think all in all, when we look back at this year, we'll look back at it and think Limerick far, far too superior for anyone else in the country. Um, and I suppose from a Kilkenny perspective, like, you know, Billy Drennan scored five points, but obviously goes off in the final 13 minutes. Um, not too sure if it was an injury or they just took him off there, but we'll have to uh, go back and see that. Owen Cody with two points. Adrian Mullen, obviously good to see him back with three points. Uh, Paddy Deegan playing in a more advanced role now for this Kilkenny side he finished the day with two points um, obviously still have the likes of TJ Reid uh, to come back into the side, uh, Dara Corcoran as well, a few of the other Bally Hale lads, Owen Cody uh, has not has been used sparingly throughout the league, so Kilkenny look, the, you know, it's early days under Derek Ling, few new players that have come in from the under 20s last year feels like a transition for them feels like they're building towards what will be the Leinster round robin, and then obviously they'll, they'll push on from there. But from a Limerick perspective, very, very impressive indeed. Very, very impressive indeed. And it's very, very hard at this moment in time to say who will stop them come July when the All Autumn final is there. Um, so, yeah, special, special win for Limerick, National Hurling League title winners. And um, what an outstanding performance in terms of man of the match. I'd probably go Aaron Galan. Colin Coughlin, I was very impressed with as well. But I think Aaron Glan scoring 1-7, obviously a lot of them from, from freeze, but that goal as well was, was absolutely superb. And um, what a brilliant, brilliant performance from a Limerick perspective. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions on this game in the comments down below. Hit the like button and subscribe. We'll be going live uh, for the Mayo and Ross Common game in a couple of minutes' time uh, for a live watch-along of that game. So make sure you get yourself over there to that stream. That will be starting in a couple of minutes' time. Excited to see what happens between the two big rivals of Mayo and Roscommon. So make sure you get yourself over there. And uh, I'll see you all soon.